computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to locate the calculator application using the terminal command prompt on a Mac computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer, have access to the calculator application as well as the terminal command prompt which is built into the Mac computer. We can now stop the tutorial. Before I start this tutorial, I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos, as we know every problem is solved by indirection. You can also follow my Twitter account. We are trying to grow as fast as ever. I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So now let's go all the way down to the dock. Go to Launchpad, go to the terminal command prompt. Search for the command prompt, enter to open up terminal. Let's now increase the size of the terminal window as well as the text size. Command plus a couple of times, now it's ls to list all the content on screen. If I were to let's just say change directory into the applications directory, we may not be able to list any of the content. As we know, Computer Science Videos is not the main master account on this computer. We would have to then navigate two directories back into the Macintosh hard drive to locate all the applications. CD dot dot slash dot dot. LS, if I were to let's just say now go into applications, the calculator application may not be in this. LS, if I were to let's just say open cal tab not available LS CD dot dot LS, we would have to navigate into system applications semicolon LS and now we see the calculator application on screen. There we go. So this is what we are looking to open up. Open calculator.app forward slash, enter, and there we have the calculator application on screen, opened up via the terminal command prompt and terminal commands. So we can now quit calculator, clear all the content on screen, CD, exit, quit terminal. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now. Or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for computer science videos from the start until now.